culture. Okay? And work with me here. It is made of plastic. Who do you think has bodies? So you say it was made of plastic or plaster? Plastic. Plastic. Not plaster. Plaster. <laughs> Who has value for this Who gets the impact? The admirer? The person looking at it? The person who looks at it, right? So the person who looks at it has value. Now I'm going to add <coughs> to it. So if we looked at if we looked at our impact area. In this one, we where will we put the sculpture? <laughs> Creative and culture. Okay. Now I'm going to add some story on the plastic. I'm going to say that plastic, from my research, every bit of plastic that I use is recycled. And my research shows me that plastic that is recycled loses value. It's never the same as the first time. So instead of throwing it away or giving you ugly looking bags, which the moment first time you pick it, it breaks, I'm going to turn it into sculpture. So it's recycled plastic. Where do you think they practice? Make the economical or energy and environment. Energy and environment or economic. Right? Just by changing my problem statement, I change the environment. Okay? So it is important to think about what impact we are trying to for, and if it is not, think about changing it. So we're going to do another one. We're going to go down a few of them. The next one is an orange scent. It smells like orange. Where do you think you're going to put it here? Smells like orange. Health and well-being. Health and well-being. How? Now, um, many people associate citrus smells with clean. Right. So citrus smell is clean. So therefore, he says it's health and well-being. So you can put it there. And I would add some story to the orange cell because I am researcher. We are presenting our research, right? My research says that orange is related to focus. There is a lot of research that shows that. Test grades are improved by the fragrance of orange. So if you had a bunch of orange tea lying around in the room, you can improve test scores. These are all true facts, okay? Where would you put it now? Education. Education. Right? Or if I just said, okay, I mean, my research shows that orange scent is good, therefore I'm going to find a way to improve the production of oranges. Where would I put it? Impact areas. So each of our research has some level of impact, and the question is where you put it. You will do one last? Shall we do? We'll leave the camera on. Does anyone care about math and science? Someone. Do you want to give it a try? The gamma function? So gamma function is a kind of mathematical function. So what why I use that one? It is pure math. Is the deepest level of math hanging around in the 1800s, right? But it is applied to differential equations. Scientists, scientists, you see? So there is an impact from one mathematician to another. Where is the impact area in this story? It is a function that is never, nobody who doesn't do pure math ever gets to hear about it. Nobody who doesn't do pure math ever sees it. It's deep, deep, deep science. Where would I put it? Technological. Technological, yes. Education. Because I could move it and make computer chips because in the end you need those equations. Math is the one. Educational. Educational for teaching mathematics, the next level. Right? I might even put it in 10 more places, or 10, depending on how, because it is pure math, math is applied to many things. How would I transition it? Where would I do it? Okay? Just for the fun of it. Cousins War of 15th century. Anybody knows that history? War of Roses. Before the Henry VIII was the Henry VII. 
and it was his mummy and the other mummy, they fought. It's a fight between the mom. Okay? This is 15th century English history, right? Where would you have had this? So I told you it's a fight between the queens for Social. succession of their king. Social. Social. More right? Policy and law. What is it? Policy and law. Policy and, and law, yes. You could bring it or you could see about women and so you could have it in either of those or educational. Or you could do the economic impacts of the cousins war when all of England and surrounding areas were dissolved in this law. Okay? So everything that you are doing, we say, has an impact. And we ask you to look for it. Okay? So how are you creating an impact? You can commercialize, have a new product, tell something. If you are commercializing, do not leave this building without talking to Jean, me, or Tasha. Okay? If you are advancing a novel solution, okay? to a problem that is an existing problem or a need. So there is an existing problem, you're trying to find a different way to do it. First one, advancing the frontiers of your own area, academically. Engaging in the audience, and engaging an audience with an idea, or enhancing society or culture. The reason we have these five different ways, we and true, hang around and we agree, this would be a way for you to answer the impact question. So your first answer could take you in any one of these directions. Right? And then based on whichever direction you go, you will be asked the same question. So if you go into the commercialization direction, then we will talk about this. What is commercialization? Is anyone commercializing their research? I will tell you probably all of you are. Okay, so what is the definition of commercialization? Dictionary says to manage a business basis for profit. Or it says to exploit for profit. So on university campus we hate this because it says to exploit. Right? That sounds so terrible, so not PC. Great? Okay? So we are, that is the definition. But in truth, what is commercialization? It is the process of converting an idea or a research into a product or service that can be transferred to someone. So my orange idea, remember that orange scent? Next thing I'll say, okay, the next step for me is to devise a thing in which I'm going to put the scent. So I converted the orange scent and all the high research that I did with it into a pen such that I am actually transferring the value to somebody from money. Right? That is commercialization. Alternately, when the value you are offering is so compelling that someone is willing to pay you for it. And the process of setting a company is all that together makes the commercialization. Okay? So why do you want to get paid? Why don't we do it for free? We have all this research. We can keep doing research. Why do we always do it? All? Why do we do it all for free? Why don't we only get paid? Because you have to pay somebody else. How do you convert the answers of your research into something that somebody will buy unless you spend money in the store? And in order to spend money, somebody needs to give you the money, right? You can go through grants if you're a faculty for some time, right? But if you have, if your research is at that spot that it can actually be sold, so somebody can get value out of it, then you need to commercialize it, make it sustainable such that somebody will use it. Okay? So how would you know whether you have commercialization potential? Right now, everybody shook their heads and said, "No, never, not now." Okay? So the first question I ask you: Does your research add value? Does somebody care about what you're doing? Should somebody care about what you're doing? And the question is to whom? Right? My sculpture example. When it was just a plastic sculpture, did it add value to somebody? Did the 
are good. They looked at them and said, wow. That's the value of art, right? We look at it and we feel good. That's the value. We pay thousands, hundreds of millions of dollars in order to acquire these pieces of art. But it doesn't help me at my house. It doesn't help me to go from 